Hey guys, welcome back to Matlock's Toy Room Reviews. And today we're going to be doing another G.I. Joe vehicle review. And this is the Rolling Thunder. And I don't know how big this looks on video right now, but this is pretty damn big. I mean, I, I've got some massive hands here, and it's pretty damn huge. And this is from 1988, which would be part of series... Uh, seven I believe I'll check to make sure on that but this thing is awesome I mean just the first look at it it's pretty cool it's massive I'm missing a few pieces there's supposed to be a turret here with a radar dish and also a turret down here that rotates I'm missing the gun that goes in there but uh and try to pop this thing open. I remember how this opens. There we go. As you can see, there is two seats in here. So there can be a driver and a person over here. And then you can set somebody in here. They can stand back in the gunner port. And it has four seats. But you can see these white seats that turn have the gun turret on it and they have little seat belts that go in there that I have that aren't on here but uh, and then you can set two more people back here and this whole piece the giant cannon goes up and down and this whole piece rotates and you just got lots of missiles just all over the place on this thing as you can see, <clears throat> and has some pretty cool features. One of the coolest things is that the side drops down here, and you have a little ATV that can roll out. Can seat one person in there. It's got a rotating cannon. Pretty awesome little vehicle. And, uh, Along with that, the other side can drop down so the ramps can go like that. And then these doors pop up like so. And this slides back. And you have two giant missiles. As you can see, so this is like a mobile missile silo, if you will. And, uh, and these are removable. And inside each of these, there is three bombs on each side. So there's three in here and three on this side. I know as a kid, this was always awesome. A buddy of mine actually had this growing up, and we used to, you know, play all kinds of stuff with this. This is like one of the coolest vehicles to have. I know I've said that with every single G.I. Joe vehicle I've reviewed so far, but, you know, that's just the case. With all the vehicles that I own, is because they're my favorites. I don't have any that I, I don't really care about, so. If I have it, then I love it. So, uh. Yeah, but then these just go back down, close it back up, and like everything closes up as you saw in the beginning. So uh, definitely a big vehicle. If you have room for this in your collection, I'd say definitely pick this one up. This one really doesn't run that much um, on eBay. You know, I, I think I picked this one up about two years ago for you know, I don't know, twenty bucks or something. Missing a few pieces, of course, but. I'll probably complete it one day, get the extra two little guns that it's missing, but uh, definitely cool little vehicle we got here. Well, I shouldn't say little, definitely a cool big vehicle. So uh, thanks for checking this out, guys.